Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. How you doing tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Very good, very good. Hello, uh, Maria. Hello, Blanca. Hello, Diana. Hello, Florizia. Hello, Armando. Hello. How was the, how was Hello, the vacations? Teacher. Hello. How was the vacations? Good? I don't have vacations. No Very vacation. good. No vacation, right? <laughs> no, no vacation. Vac no vacation. Only for somebody else, not for us. All right? Solo para alguien más, no para usted, no para nosotros. Welcome, Aníbal. So we have a uh, we have five minutes still. I mean, three minutes. All right. So very good. I'm a little bit sick right uh, tonight. You know how I, you know, kind of like a flu. But you know, if if you see me, you know that I'm sneezing like this. Sorry. Si me miran que estoy estornudando, pero I'm a little sick a little bit or uh, today. Okay. Oh, so. Man. All right. Let's see who else is here. All right. Three more minutes. Let's wait. In the meantime, we're gonna double check the, well, let's wait for the rest of the class. We have nine people, eight people, eight students. All right, so, no tuvimos vacación, pues. Entonces, hay que trabajar, ¿verdad? Hay que trabajar y ni modo. No hubo tiempo de ir a subirse el tagada. ¿Verdad? Y cerca, <laughs> mm. no, hombre, eso yo... Yo no, es que sea, no sea, yo no es que sea Grinch, pero yo prefiero estar en mi casa acostadito y no estar ahí asoleándome y todo ese gentillo, como dijo aquel, ¿verdad? Está para arriba. Pero cada quien, cada quien con su gusto. Dígame. You don't spend your money. You don't spend your money, of course, you know. So at that point, you need to be, you know, at home. If you want to eat something, if you have some, some extra money, you can order something online, you know, like uh, yes, Campero, McDonald or something, right? And then you start watching TV, I mean, some some movies and stuff like that. However, but there's people that likes to go over there. They like to go over there because I don't understand. They like to be there, you know. I saw people with, with their kids, you know, like I go like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that. I can't believe that thing. I mean, like, you are with your little kids like this, you know, like chineaditos y andan en familia. Yo digo, Dios mío. Bueno, para los gustos los colores, all right? So, ahí no puedo yo decir nada. Solo me quedo con la crítica constructiva. Welcome, uh, Marisol. Welcome, Jaime. Welcome, Anderson. Okay, so, cameras on, all right? Cameras on, everything. It's all said. I was checking some... Uh, uh, homeworks that you guys sent already and some of you are doing a good job some others you know are missing some words okay uno de ustedes están haciendo bien ya lo están haciendo bien otros tal vez porque lo hacen rápido estamos omitiendo unos verbos all right so well, perdón unos uh, pe pe personal pronouns ¿Verdad? Entonces, acuérdese de que siempre que usted va a estar hablando de algo, I mean, ya, yeah, de, de alguien o de, o de algo, los personal pronouns, all right? So, tienen que identificar para que la oración tenga sentido, all right? Every time that you want to create a sentence, we need to review that, that particular sentence needs to have what? Three things. What? Tell me. Subject. Complement. Verb. Subject, verb, and complement. Subject, verb, and complement, right? Always remember about that, always, all right? Just to make sure that you are doing a good job, just to make sure that you are giving uh, sense to your opinions, to your uh, information that you are transmitting to the other person, ¿verdad? Como le dije la vez pasada, I, 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 hay veces de que nosotros estamos hablando, uh, yo está, usted ha escuchado a la, a la gente de Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Los que vienen, los gringos, ¿verdad? Los que conocemos como los, los chel, los gringos, ¿verdad? Entonces, ellos, a pesar de que no tienen un buen español, pero se les entiende, pero a veces así sonamos nosotros. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos no manejan el subject, el verb y el complement. 
a pesar de eso, que nuestro idioma es bien complicado. ¿Se acuerda que le dije yo que nosotros tenemos a uh, uno de los eh, lenguajes más difíciles uh, around the world? All right, so there's many things that you need, that, there's many things that we mention every time that we talk. No sé si se ha fijado que a todos le ponemos tito, chiquitito, bien bonitito, mira el pelito. Y entonces un, una persona de otro país que no habla español va a decir, yo entiendo pretty, ¿verdad? O sea, yo entiendo pretty. Y the prettiest es el más bonito, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros le ponemos, no, está bien, bien, bien chivo, bien nice, bien tuanis, bien chévere, bonito, chivitit. Y total que a todo le ponemos un diminutivo. Entonces, por eso le digo yo, we need to make sure that every time that we are talking, every time that you are expressing something in English, You need to remember a oh, subject, verb, and complement. All right. So, if, for example, if you go to to any restaurant, right? Este no es parte es parte de la clase, sí, verdad? Pero quiero hacer un énfasis. If you go to a restaurant, si usted va a un restaurante, este, usted se queda y, y usted mira solo los combos, verdad? Combo uno, combo dos, combo tres. El combo uno viene con papitas, eh, viene con dos papitas, viene con dos, ¿cómo se llama? Con un flan, por decir, un apple pie, y con una soda. Incluso acá, le voy a hacer una anécdota, anécdota rápida, que yo siempre voy, siempre me molesto, porque ni acá explicamos bien las cosas en español. Entonces, quiero que usted tenga en cuenta que por fe usted va a viajar, ¿verdad? Y allá en Estados Unidos un día va a ir a, a comprar, o a Canadá, donde sea que vaya y hable inglés, por fe va a ir y va a acordarse de estas palabras. Pero usted tiene que ser, you need to be specific. You need to ask the right questions. For example, if I go to, to let's say that, I, that we are in a restaurant, right? So, and I ask, hey, Diana, how are you doing tonight? Viene Diana y me dice, hi. No me conoce, obvio, ¿verdad? Pero yo le digo Diana porque anda aquí el, el batch number, ¿verdad? Y yo le digo, oh, Diana, how, how are you doing? Ah, oh, good. Thank you. How may I help you, Mesa Diana, right? Entonces, yes, Diana, can I have a combo number number two? Viene ella y me dice, would you like to have a big size or the normal the, the normal price? Because if you have a big size, you need to pay 25, 25 cents extra. Y le voy a dar un, un vaso grandotote, ¿verdad? No el normal. Entonces, la anécdota que yo le quería decir es esto. Voy a un lugar que me voy a invitar del nombre de, de comida, pero, pero era pollo, ¿verdad? Yo lo voy a decir, pero era pollo. Dice ahí las, las, ¿cómo se llama? Las cinco piezas. Dice cinco piezas, ocho fichas, ocho dólares con, con ocho dólares, póngale que ese es el ejemplo. Y que, y dice, y dice ocho dólares y ahí trae dos cositas de, de coslo que no sé cómo, eh, ¿Cómo se dice la, esa cosa? El, el, el curtidito que le ponen a uno, ¿verdad? Ese bien rico. No sé que tiene otro nombre. Eh, las dos papitas y la soda. Vengo yo y le, y le pago. Da la casualidad que solo me dan el, el, el puro pollo. Y le miré el pan y de, de que usted, usted no pide. Por eso le estoy diciéndole. Yo quiero, ahí donde dice, combo el, el que vale 8 dólares, 5 piezas. So, you need to be specific. You need to be uh, specific every time that you talk. Because if you don't explain yourself, si usted no se explica usted mismo, usted se va a equivocar y va a empezar a agarrar modismos, los cuales son aquellos de que usted empieza a... Uh, mi, 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 comp mi comprende, mi, y no es hacerle burla a nadie, ¿verdad? Estos solamente son ejemplos. ¿Pero por qué empieza uno a hablar así? Porque no tenemos los parámetros que necesitamos para lanzarnos, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos son unos ejemplos que le estoy dando. ¿Usted le quiere hablar a alguien? Usted empieza la conversación, así como empecé ahorita hoy que hablé con ustedes, que le digo, hey, hello, guys. Good evening. How you doing, Wilfredo? How you doing, Aníbal? How you doing? And everybody is saying, hey, how you doing, Mr. Escamilla? Very good, very good. How's vacation? 
y dijimos, ¿qué dijimos? No vacation for us. No vacation for us, right? So, entonces, we are using some other, I mean, some other connectors, all right? Or, or helpers that are going to help us at the same time to complete our sentences as well. Estamos usando conectores, estamos usando ayudadores que nos están ayudando, valga la redundancia, a comprender lo que es la oración que queremos tra transmitir, ¿ok? So now I believe everybody is in the house. We are going to pass this real quick. Give me one second. Let me get this now. And I'm going to be asking one by one. All right. So I just said present here. Oh, that's it. All right. Let's see. De ocho a nueve. Let's see. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. Where I go? Oh. Just a moment. Un momento, por favor. Okay, there we go. Today, what day is today, guys? Anybody can tell me what day is today? Today is? Today is Monday. Monday, seven. Monday, Monday 7, right? Okay. Looking for that. Yeah, Monday 7. All right, let's see. Adriana, uh, Adriana Amadai Ramirez, Marroquin. Ana, vamos a ver. Ana Graciela Ramos García. Okay. Anderson Jeremy Molina Salaya. Present. Very good. Armando Antonio Albanes Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Blanca Stephanie Vasquez Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos and uh, Carlos and Eva Martinez Ramos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. And let's see. Cecia Gemina Martinez Rivas. Cecia Gemina Martinez Rivas. She's not here. Okay. Uh, Diana Patricia Patricia Carranza Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Mahano. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Mahano. She's not here. Okay. Okay. So, Floricia Menjivar Vigil. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Griselda Raquel Estrada Landa Verde. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And let's see, Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo Sorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Isabel Araceli Beltran Ayala. Present. Thank you, miss. All right, Jacqueline Jeanette Guzman Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Ivan Ventura Castro. I am here, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Jocelyn Yo Stephanie. No Jocelyn Stephanie. Los mexicanos no los quieren ahorita aquí en El Salvador. Jocelyn Stephanie sí, Bautista Zúñiga. Okay. All right. One second. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more time. Jocelyn and Stephanie. I am here. Okay. Thank you. Jocelyn, Karina, Jamilet, Gonzalez Pineda. 
Karina Jamilet Gonzalez Pineda. She's not here. And I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay. Carla Joanna Martinez Platero. Carla Joanna Martinez Platero. She's not here. Okay. Ronald Vladimir Comaya Guamaya. I'm sorry, no, me pasé, permita, 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 permita. Okay, Kenny Guadalupe Hernandez Godoy. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Her Thank you. All right. Maria Wendy Guadalupe Rodriguez Cibrian. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maybelline Lisette, Lisette Ramirez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Maya. Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Maya. It's not here. Uh, Wilfred, uh, Wilfredo Alberto Canacas Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. And Jenny Guadalupe Martinez Murcia. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. All right, let's rock and roll the class. All right, let's see. Okay, now let's see. Present. Can we do present over here? Karina? That's you? Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Let me see. I'm sorry. Jenny. Oh, okay. Excellent. I got you here. Okay. All right. Let's go. Now, uh, anybody remember what was the last topic that we checked last class, guys? Anybody can tell me anything about the topic that we checked last class? No? All right. But first, to the first, right? We're going to double check what? our motivation, all right? So remember, every time that you are doing something, we need to be what? Motivated, right? So every time that we need to do something or that we are learning something, we need to be motivated, all right? So let me share this information right now and let me know if you can see it. That's it. All right, so. Every time that you are doing something, you need to be motivated. Repeat, motivated. Come on, everybody, motivated. Motivated, motivated. Motivated, motivated. 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 All right, so. Okay. No, I see it now. All right, no, motivated, okay. Motivated. I'm motivated. Motivated. Motivated, uh-huh. Motivated, all right, so. All right, so let's see. Believe you can. Believe you can. Repeat. Believe you can. Believe you can. Believe you can. And you're and you're halfway there. And you're halfway there. Halfway there. Yeah. All right, so believe you can, and you're halfway there. And you're halfway there. All right. Okay, guys. So let me see. So it all. All right. Yes. Okay. What did that mean? Believe you can, and you are half day, halfway there. So crea o cree que tú puedes. Y tú ya estás a la mitad de ahí. Ya estamos a la mitad de ahí, all right? So, no que aquí vamos a empezar. Todo tiene un principio, acuérdese. Nadie nace aprendido. Ay, que a mí me cuesta el inglés. Sí, porque no, no practica. Solo dormido pasa. All right, sí. ¿Y cómo va a aprender? ¿Verdad? Entonces tenemos que practicar, 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 practicar. Acuérdese, remember, this class is not the, the one that is going to help. I mean, it's going to help you, of course. All right? But you need to practice, all right? So, if we are sleeping... Or if we are doing something else, it's going to be harder for us. Si estamos dormiditos o estamos haciendo algo más, va a ser más duro para nosotros aprender. Pero acuérdese, usted puede y ya está a mitad de llegar ahí. Ya está a la mitad. 
Ya, acabamos de empezar, eh, teacher, acabamos de sí, pero un comienzo es un comienzo. Y eso olvídese, tiene que aprovecharlo y aprovechar el espacio que le da this academy, right? So remember that we need to be completing our exercises that we have through our platform, right? Tenemos que ir completando los ejercicios que están a través de la plataforma, ir al día para obtener un espacio, ¿verdad? Que por privilegiados ustedes los tienen, ¿verdad? Bueno, pasemos a la clase. Once again, anybody remember what was the last topic that we checked last class? ¿Alguien se acuerda cuál fue el tema que dimos la vez la clase pasada? Anybody? Any volunteer? Any victim? WH question? WH question? No sería simple present question. Hoy había un maestro. Simple present question. Simple present question. All right, so. Veamos el duo simple present. Okay, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. All right, we are going to uh, uh, pass this video because I believe you already checked this video at home, right? Yo creo que ya chequearon este video y si se lo pongo se me van a como no aburrir, ¿verdad? Pero ya lo vieron y creo que ya lo tienen, ya lo manejan, ya saben eh, cuál es el simple present question. All right, so acuérdense de que vamos a utilizar el do y el does. All right. Y acuérdense que cuando queremos a, a hacer una pregunta, ¿cómo vamos a identificar que es una pregunta? How you guys are going to identify that I am asking questions right now? How would be my questions right now if you think that I'm going to ask you questions? ¿Cómo usted... Uh, very good, very good, yes, yes. If we are using simple present questions, right? But another hint, otra clavecita, ¿cuál sería que usted identifica de que uh, um, Mr. Escamilla or the teacher está haciendo preguntas? ¿Por qué está preguntando con what? La interrogante. Uh, y, lo, con lo, y, y con lo que empieza, ¿qué es lo que empieza al principio? Do, do, do does. ¿Y el otro? WH. WH question. Very good. All right. Very good. Because if I ask you, let's see if I said, uh, where do you, Marisol, where do you go this uh, on this vacation? Where do you go on this vacation? Where do you go, Marisol? Si la puede contestar, no se preocupe. Si, si puede, si no puede, aquí le voy a ayudar yo. No se preocupe por eso. Pero yo le estoy haciendo una pregunta. Y ella dijo, ah, oh, where, ¿qué quiere decir where? Ah, o sea, que ya estamos, ya estamos, ¿verdad? Entrando en materia. Where, I, exacto, where did you go? Where did you go, Marisol? Marisol, on this, I'm sorry? Eh, no entendí la pregunta. Ajá, ¿a dónde fue? Yo, el, el, el teacher metido, ¿verdad? Perdóname, pero esta es una preguntita, no más. Este, ¿A dónde fue en estas vacaciones, Marisol? ¿A dónde fue estas vacaciones? O sea, where did you go? ¿Cuáles son las WH questions, Jaime? Tell me where, that... Where? What? Uh -huh. where, what? what? How? Uh, how? Uh -huh. uh, who? Who? What else? Uh, wish. Wish, uh huh. Uh huh. And why, right? Uh, why, why? Uh -huh. So, Marisol, acuérdese. Estas son las WH questions, all right? ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Estas son los, el comienzo de la oración que usted va a identificar que es una pregunta. Y a cada final de oración, usted va, lo va a ver siempre. Con el what? Interroga interrogation mark, right? So, profe tenía un problema con la salud, con mi madre. Vengo con ella, por eso ingreso tarde. Por eso ingreso tarde. No worries, Ana. Ya, este, ya voy a verificar su asistencia. Ok. Me manda un mensaje al WhatsApp. No se la voy a olvidar porque, como me paso de esta clase para la otra, no me queda tiempo. 
de, de ver su, su listado por si no si la nombré y le, le puse falta me manda un un este un mensajito por favor ok Aniti, Anita Anita alright so ok very good very good pero me lo manda por favor no se la voy a olvidar porque no tengo no me queda tiempo lo voy a ver al final de la de hasta las 10 y, y fracción alright so Bien, now el número dos de la lista. very good very good very good all right guys so we understand now how we are going to use do, does, and WH questions, right? So if I ask, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yes. And R and is a question two. How, like a bird, bird to be? Like a am, um, is, and are? I just like, are you sick? Have you seen? Come, uh, are, are you seen? Are you see? It's kind of like question. For example, I say, "Are you tired?" Es pregunta, claro. Ajá. Es pregunta, pero ya más directa, verdad? Pero estas son más que todo las más usuales. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, "Guys, are you okay?" Porque todos yo les estoy preguntando y todos bien callados y no me contestan y están así como tristes y les digo, "Guys, are you okay?" Are you feeling good? Yo les estoy preguntando, ¿se sienten bien? O por ejemplo, ahorita yo les digo que me siento un poco gangoso, ¿verdad? Tengo un poco de gripe, ¿verdad? Y ya me tomé ahí, me... Vamos a hacer propaganda, ¿verdad? La virogrip. Me tomé una. Y este... Pero usted me dice... Hey, teacher, ¿por qué yo estoy así? Me estoy durmiendo, ¿verdad? Teacher, are you okay? Are you sleepy? ¿Tenés, ¿Tenés sueño? Sí, esa es pregunta. It's, it, usted puede decir, is it anybody there? ¿Hay alguien ahí? Esa es pregunta también. Esa la va a ir agarrando en el camino. Estas son las más comunes, pero como en este caso estamos practicando simple present questions, más adelante usted va a llegar y va a ver esas que me acaba de preguntar. Que cuando le dicen, are you okay? Are you tired? Si le digo yo, ¿Cómo me diría, teacher? Tiene hambre. ¿Cómo me lo preguntarían? Teacher, are you hungry? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Ajá. Ajá, o sea, la respuesta mía es, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Sí tengo, no, no tengo. Y vengo yo de metido y le digo a usted, what about you? What about you? Y usted me dice, ah, de The same, the same, I'm hungry too, you know? So, but that's pretty good, pretty good observation. I like that. I like that when you ask questions, all right? So remember to ask questions all the time, all right? If you don't ask questions, you will be lost. Si no se preguntas, dígame. When we use ask questions. When we use? Ask questions. Dígamelo en español. Este, yo he visto cuando ponen para, cuando dicen que más o menos para, para hacer una pregunta que escriben ask questions, o sea, dos palabras que dice que solo ask es preguntar questions, es preguntar. Oh, usted me está diciendo de la, la prácticamente ask questions, así como, como se escribe, ah, ask, ask questions. questions. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. O sea, se escribe así, ask questions. Yes. Ask questions. Pregunta, preguntas, verdad, la redundancia. Uh, All right, so ask questions. So that's the, that's what I'm trying to tell you right now, right? Please ask me questions. All right, questions related to the topic, porque a veces queremos saber algo de que y sí está bien, pero pero no se va a sentir, no lo quiero hacer sentir mal, verdad? Quiero que me entienda, porque a veces que escuchamos algo, vimos una película y usted dice, le voy a preguntar al, al, al maestro. Y sí, yo le puedo, yo le puedo decir parte de, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, si está relacionada al tema, va a ser más que excelente. Pero eso no quiere decir que no me va a preguntar, ¿verdad? Siempre haga pre preguntas, evalúe, evalúe, prepare sus preguntas cuando usted esté antes de empezar la clase y ya la tiene, ¿verdad? Preparada, hey, related to the topic, ¿ok? So, let's review this just to complete 
uh, quick as, uh... Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple press. Verifiquemos eso solo para darle un review y que quede bien claro y pasamos al siguiente tema de, de la plataforma, ¿ok? Just a moment. Some questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked. Meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. All right, I just want to make sure, guys, on this part of the video, I just want to make sure or double check that if you guys understood or if you guys understand what are they talking about. Quiero estar seguro si ustedes entienden de lo que ellos están hablando. All right, so... Si, si está claro, levántenme una manita virtual. Si no está claro, pues, este, levántenme, no sé qué otra manita de ahí, una carita así enojado que no me entiende, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Solo quiero una manita virtual y eh, hace un, un like, eso, un like. Very good. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so, okay, let's see. Vamos a ver, Wilfredo, usted va a ser Jack y Floricia va a ser Ami. Vamos. One, two, three. Go ahead. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast tea? Sure, I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They are served breakfast all day. Very good, very good, excellent, good job. All right, Ingrid, usted va a ser uh, Amy y Armando va a ser Jack. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast, breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day, all days. Excellent, a round of applause for you guys. Aníbal, be Jack and Anna, be Amy. Ana Ramos. Let's go, let's go to the park on Sunday. Profe, disculpe, fíjese que estoy desde el celular y hoy bastante choca, ¿no? Ah, oh, no se preocupe, ok, no se preocupe, ok, vamos a elegir a, aquí, vamos a elegir a, Blanqu a Blanquita, vamos Blanca, Stephanie. Estoy, estoy queriendo comunicarme de la computadora y en el movimiento está. No, relax, don't worry, ok, so, ok, let's go Blanca. Let's go to the park on Sunday. <coughs> Okay, book less on go in the afternoon. I live late on Wednesday. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast thing? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet uh, at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve break 
all days. Excellent, excellent, very good. Uh, let's see, Jenny, B, uh, Amy, and let's see, uh, let's see, okay, Kier. Se me escapan estos muchachos, okay. Uh, Anderson, please, B, Jack. Let's go, come on. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you wait food on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sundays. I, I eat food at noon. Do you can breakfast then? So I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, very good. Uh, Maria, B, B, Amy, Maria, Wendy, and I may be Jack. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the bar on the Sunday. Okay, but let's go. In the afternoon, I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, thanks early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Dead last meet at uh, this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, very good, very good. Maybelline, be, be Amy and Wilfredo, be Jack, please. Come on, let's go and turn your cameras on, please. I can I, I don't see you. Let's go <laughs> to the park on Sunday. I'm sorry? Estoy desde la computadora y acá no me funciona la cámara. Ah, okay, okay, but participemos, please. Okay, so vamos, okay. Jack va a ser Ronald and Amy va a ser, ¿quién dije? Uh, Maybelline. Yeah. Dele, pues, dele. Go ahead. Vamos, let's go. Come on. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What a time do you wait up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at a restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, very good, very, good. very nice job. Okay, Wilfredo, B, Jack, and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, aquí se me esta niña. So, so, Kenny, please, go ahead. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Kenny. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. And let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, very good. Elmer, be, be Jack and Jocelyn, be Amy. Come on, let's go. Turn your cameras on, please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, let's see, is Isbel Beltran, B, Jack, and 
Uh, let's see, Karina, B, Amy. Come on, let's go. Um, let's go to Tate Park on Sunday. Karina, Jamilet. All right, Karina is not here, I guess. Okay. So, Ronald, ya le pregunté a Ronald Alexander. Yes, sure. yes. Okay. ¿Alguien más que no haya participado? Okay, Elsie. Elsie Ramos. Me, me teacher. Okay. Uh, ¿quién, quién me. Fue la... Okay. Elsie Ramos, B. Jack, and the next one is Bell, B. Amy. Come on, let's go. It needs to go. Yes, 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 please. Um, let's go to Tate Park on Sunday. Okay. ¿Quién le va a ayudar a, a Elsie, right? You are Elsie. El, le ayudo yo, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay, but let's go. Go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you have to Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, time early. On Sunday, I head up at noon. Do you eat breakfast ten? Sir, I have breakfast every day. That's le then lets me at the at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good, very good. Anderson, you participate. At this restaurant. Yes. All right, Armando, you participo. Do you already participate? Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Okay. No, no, it's okay right now. I just want to make sure that everybody is participating. That's the reason that I like to see you or with the cameras on because if I don't see you with the cameras on, I'm not going to take you in consideration. I mean, I'm going to, I mean, if I Teacher, see... Teacher, you're not participado. Okay, Diana, let's go. Be, be Amy, I'm going to be Jack. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Uh, then let me at this restaurant at uh, one o'clock. They serve a breakfast all day. Very good, very good. Round of applause, everybody. Okay, I want you, you guys participate, right? So at that point, I'm evaluating you. I'm evaluating, you know, your pronunciation, all right? Because that's uh, a fact. I mean, that's uh, it's really important to have a, a nice pronunciation since the beginning, all right? So we cannot have a, a bad pronunciation if no matter if you are on level A, level nine, level 10, that's, I mean, in my opinion, is not good. I want you to, you guys, practice and practice. That, that's the reason that we need to practice every day. A mí me gusta evaluarlos desde el principio, ¿verdad? No importa que vaya a nivel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, ¿verdad? Pero si la pronunciación la tiene mala, en mi opinión, no es bueno. ¿Verdad? Porque a la hora de hablar, you will have troubles, you will have problems. All right. So, all right. So, let's see. Let me. Let me stop here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's go and pass to the next class right now. Let's see. Are we clear with that, guys? Yes? Estamos claros? All right. So when you, pra when you practice, you see, right? You see that you are, you know, uh, evaluating mm -hmm. yourself. You are getting more uh, knowledge. Cuando usted está practicando, usted se, su, se evalúa a usted mismo y ve el conocimiento que está obteniendo, ¿verdad? Entonces... Uh, por esa razón, y me gusta que todos tengamos las camaritas encendidas para que participemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's see, vamos a ver. Ok, let, let's see. Uh, let's repeat, knowledge check. 
No, let's check. All right. Knowledge check. check. Knowledge, Knowledge check. check. Very good. Very good. Very Knowledge good. Very check. good. All right. So uh, let me read it. Let me read this information now. And then uh, we're going to repeat it. Let's see who is a teacher. Tengo problemas con la cámara. Cecia. All right. Siempre háganmelo saber, ¿verdad? Para yo estar al, al, al pendiente. Porque después uh, lo que sucede es que no es que hagan mal los comentarios, pero dice, a mí no me preguntó. A mí no me dijo nada. Y yo quería participar, all right? So, but I want to see the cameras on, all right? And at that point, I'm going to select, you know, your name and you participate right away, okay? So, let me read this first. I'm scrambled the questions to complete the conversation. Write the, question, the questions in the blank. This time, you don't need to type a question mark at the end. Decifre las preguntas para completar la conversación la conversación, escriba la pregunta en los espacios en blanco, esta vez no necesita colocar el signo de pregunta al final, ya está colocado por usted. Ok, excellent. All right, so, ok, let's see. What would be the answer if we have to descifrar, si tenemos que unscramble the question? Eso quiere decir, usted mira la, la pregunta que está desarreglada, ¿verdad? Tenemos que descifrarla. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta acá? Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise I exercise I exercise every day. So, what would be the answer? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? Right? That would be the la segunda, verdad? Sí, la segunda. Porque la primera es un ejemplo. Ah, la primera la primera es un ejemplo. A mi teacher, donde yo vivo, la señal está muy mala y me conecto con datos. Entonces estoy presente en clases con la cámara desactivada, pero estoy como oyente presentando a ti. Very good, Kenny. Very good. No worries. All right. So let me know. Let me know, please. All right. So at that point, we have a, com a communication, right? All right. Teacher, pedí permiso para estar solo como oyente. All right. Very good. Not, not a problem. All right. Acuérdense de que como oyente siempre tenemos... Uh, Siempre expliquemos o demos la razón por qué razón, ¿verdad? Y de igual le hago saber, le hago un énfasis de que como oyente, si no participa, siempre se le va a hacer un poco difícil el llegar a comprender las cosas en una mayor manera si no participa. Pero esa es opción suya, ¿verdad? No me malinterprete, ¿ok? So, the, the question is, what time? The same teacher. Do you exercise every day? Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise exercise every day. Mm -hmm. Do you exercise every day? So ya está, esta aquí es el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ya, lo, ya está contestado. Entonces aquí la segunda, eh, dijimos acá que era, what time do you eat, you eat lunch. your lunch at one o'clock p.m.? No sé por qué no me da, le dejaba escribir a ustedes. No sé por qué no me deja escribir a mí. En el cuadrito. En el cuadro de abajo. Oh, qué lindo, qué lindo. Very good, you see? I'm, le <laughs> I, I'm learning from you guys, you see? You are my teachers. Very good, very good, all right? So, what time? What time? Espera, es que le puse todo con mayúscula. Pero como yo estoy un poco así medio, medio blind, ¿verdad? Así como decimos choco. Por eso escribo con mayúscula, no crea que... What time? Do you eat, right? Do you eat? Do you eat? Lunch. 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 All right. Very good. So the third one. Who is my volunteer? Your teacher. Okay, go ahead. Tell me. Uh, does this class start at 8 o'clock? Does this class start? Start, start at 8 o'clock. At eight o'clock. Okay. Para me quiero ver aquí. No sé cómo se le pone el 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 cosito ese ahí el apóstol. Está el signo de interrogación. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. No me lo agarra. Mi computadora es un poco así media media rebelde. Bueno, pero lo vamos a dejar así, ¿verdad? Okay, so very good. All right, so 
The question is, does this class start at eight o'clock? I study English in the evening. All right, very good. Okay, so number number four. When do you study English? 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 When do you study? When do you study English, right? Very good. When do you study English? Just that, right? When do you start when do you study English? All right. So and the last one, the uh, the fifth one would be volunteer. You and your friends, you and your friends play a sport on play weekend. Sport. Do you and your friends mm -hmm. play a sport play a sport on weekends? On weekends. On weekends. Sports. sports on weekends. All right, let's see. Ah, vamos a ver, porque salió mal. Oh, que le puse acá, do. All right. Oh, what's wrong? Do you? Do. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you? Let's see. Thank you, my teachers. Excellent. Oh, what about here? Does this class start at? This class start. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí, pero mi computadora no lo, no lo asimila, no sé por qué. Pero igual, let, let, it, let it, just let it be, all right? So, no worries, all right? We're going to pass to the next uh, point over here. So, if you see, guys, we are having, you know, a different, I mean, different type of class, right? When you participate, the class is totally different, all right? So, let's see. This is a lesson adjective, all right? Repeat, lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh, Jenny, ¿me puede leer donde dice toda esta parte de acá? By the end of this class, you will uh, develop. I don't know. Develop. develop skills in predicting, pre predicting planning, yes. and, and sequencing, 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 sequencing. Uh -huh. events after reading and discussing, discussing three in interviews, interviews about sessions. Okay, very good. Let me read it. Let me read it back to you guys. Okay, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. All right. So, al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en predecir, escanear, secuenciar eventos después de leer y discutir tres entrevistas sobre horarios. All right. So. Imagine uh, de que usted va a estar habilitado para entender cuando se le habla de un horario. O sea, y eso es bien importante, ¿verdad? Cuando se habla de un horario, when we need to have a time or what time we are going to start work. All right. So everything, everything about that is related to where are you working? All right. So let's see. Next. All right. So let's see. A ver. Is Elsie Ramos? Uh, me puede leer el tema acá, please? Could you please read that for me? All right. All right, let's see. Elmer, read that for me, please. Reading what your schedule's like. Reading what your schedule is like. A schedule. Repeat schedule. everybody. Everybody repeat a schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. Así como se lo acabo de escribir. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. No a schedule. A schedule. All right. A schedule. 
All right, so step by step, little by little, step, you are going to get the right pronunciation. At the beginning, cuando es una palabra Esther. que no le hemos... Dígame. What is schedule? Horario. Okay. All right, horario. Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Every, every time when you have a new word and you are adding that particular word in your... Uh, and your hard disk, all right? So, en su disco duro, usted lo mete, cuesta. Pero como está practicando, usted va, el cerebro va asimilando, ¿verdad? Porque al principio usted dice, Dios mío, dice ahí, schedule, dice, ¿cómo le voy a pronunciar? Entonces, schedule, all right? Schedule, all right? Everybody repeat, reading. Everybody, come reading. on, let's go. Reading. Reading. What's your schedule like? What is schedule like? Reading what your schedule like. Very good. Okay, let's play this video. All right, so, and yes, we have time. Let's go. All right, so, and then we are going to discuss, you know, what we have, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> what we have uh, through this uh, video as well. Okay, just a moment. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Okay, are we clear? Are we clear when uh, people, or, yeah, in this case, uh, people is asking you what your schedule is like? Entendemos... ¿Qué, ¿Qué pregunta es esa? ¿Cómo la, cómo la, cómo la? Ajá, pero ajá, ¿cómo la, la captan? Ajá. ¿Qué horario te gusta? ¿Qué horario te gusta más? ¿Qué horario te gusta? Exact, exacto, ajá. O, o de igual manera, ¿cómo quedó tu horario, verdad? What, what's your schedule like? ¿Cómo está tu horario, verdad? Entonces, la, la niña Britney le dice, my classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at seven and I take the bus to school. And the other guy, uh, when do you, when do your classes end? A que horas tu classes terminan? All right. So they end at noon. Si usted se fija en cada pregunta, mi estimado, mi estimada, I want you to use knowledge, acknowledge the question. No sé si lo dije al principio de la clase, cuando le damos acknowledge to our questions, that means que usted está entendiendo la pregunta. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo le, le, le hago una, pregun una pregun preguntita a, let's see, a Isabel. Le digo, a uh, Isabel, en español, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo. Le digo yo, Isabel, uh, usted ya cenó. Y viene ella y me contesta, fíjese que yo tomé el autobús a las 7 de la noche. ¿Verdad que usted, usted va a quedar así como que, hey, yo no le pregunté eso? O sea, entonces, ¿qué pasó? Que Isabel no me, no me reconoció la pregunta. No me supo entender la pregunta, ¿verdad? Porque yo le pregunté si había cenado. Isabel, usted ya cenó. Y viene ahí y me dice, bien, bien linda. Me dice, no, fíjese que el, el bus me dejó. Y por eso estoy aquí de tarde, pero este... Mañana voy a ir a trabajar. Entonces yo me quedo. No, entonces no entendió la pregunta. Y si se fija acá, eh, la niña esta, BD, Britney, right? Britney, siempre le contesta de acuerdo a lo que le preguntó a este muchacho, ¿verdad? Que dice, when do your classes end? Viene a ella y le dice, they end at noon. Y no, no quiero que se me vaya a confundir en este caso, porque usted me va a decir, pero ¿por qué le dijo they? They, si they son ellos, pero en el sentido en el sentido figurado es como que usted me pregunte, ¿verdad? En español, o sea, ¿cuándo terminan tus clases? Ah, ellas terminan, se me terminan a las al mediodía, 
Entonces ese es el meaning, that's the meaning that she tried to uh, acknowledge to that question, all right? So I just want to make sure that you guys are following the right instructions and the right answers, ¿verdad? Cuando usted esté con sus amigos, obviamente usted, usted va a hablar así, ¿verdad? Es como que hablemos, este, ya comiste, que le diga, ya comiste, sí, ya comí. Ajá, ah, ¿y, y, ¿y qué comiste? Apoyo. Ah, Pero bien cortante, ¿verdad? Pero es porque yo conozco a la persona que le estoy preguntando. But if I, I don't even know you, all right, if I don't know what, I mean, I don't even know you, no, 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 no sé nada quién es usted, you need to answer polite. You need to answer, you know, professional, all right? So that's the, basically what I'm trying to transmit at this point, okay? So, y aquí le dice él, so when do you study? When do you study? Bueno, entonces, ¿cuándo es que tú estudias, Liz? Oh, my only time to study. Si se fija aquí, ella ya reconoció la pregunta y le dice que my only time to study is in the evening. All right, so from 8 till midnight. All right, so very good. So let's continue. There's any questions so far, guys? Do you have any questions? No? Okay, let's continue. Joshua Burns. Website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Same team over here, right? So let's repeat. Website designer. Everybody repeat, please. Hello? Let's repeat, everybody. Website designer. Website designer. Website designer. All right. So, if you see here, we know that he's a designer of... The página web. The página web, right? So, here you see, you see and identify right away, ¿qué, qué es este niño, ¿verdad? Y lo mismo, usted mira acá, hay una conversación, usted tiene que identificar esto step by step, all right? So, eh, quiero ver, dice, what's your schedule like? Le preguntan a Mike, ¿verdad? Que es el website designer. I'm sorry, Mike le pregunta a Joshua. Viene Joshua y le dice, well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a round before breakfast. All right, so, entonces, ah, uh, Quiero ver, después le dice, how do, you go to, how do you go to work? I work at home, le dice. I start work at 8 a.m. Around, around 1 o'clock. I take a lunch break. All right, so how late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Okay, so any questions before we go home, guys? Before we leave, I'm sorry. Yo sé que está desde casita. Y hay que practicar. Mañana le vamos a dar énfasis a esto. Vamos a hacer el role play entre todos. All right. So I want you to you guys uh, have uh, the cameras on tomorrow. And try to participate. All right. So because escuché hay unos, unas pronunciaciones que están bien, pero se van a pronunciar mejor si practicamos más. Ok. Entonces los dejo acá, niños. Uh, la niña número dos me manda un mensaje. No se le voy a olvidar. Si no le voy a poner... Ya, es que los... ya escribí en el grupo, profe. Ah, ok, ya lo voy a revisar. Very okay. good. Excellent, ok. So, los veo mañana. Have a good night and take it easy. All right. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Bye-bye.